We're now uh, round about 10 days away from setting up Hampton Court. We came back from Gardens World on Monday, um, had a bit of a, bit of a break, um, and we've started up setting up the Hampton Court stand. Now this is this raised area uh, on the pallets and on the wood is the size of it. it's 15 foot by 15 foot this one uh, so it's bigger than any of the stands we've done so far this year. It is a size we traditionally do at Hampton. Uh, it just feels big when you compare it to, to the other ones we've done this year. Um, same as always exhibiting herbs and chilies uh, around about 50% of the exhibit will be chilies and 50% will be herbs. And I've started working on the herb section. Um, so we've got a mixed planted herb area. I've just started putting the plants in. Um, some of them are just sort of markers. So I know that we're going to put a lot of basil, basil magic mountain in that area, for example. Uh, this lower area obviously won't be white, it's actually going to be either slate or gravel, haven't decided yet. And we're going to sink into that some sempervivums, which are house leeks, uh, and some thymes in a sort of a sunken garden area. And then it raises back up with the herbs. Um, and in the back of that, there's going to be some nice chilies. And we were just talking a second ago about whether we're going to raise that whole back area. The stand you can go all the way around, so it won't necessarily be raised all the way up, but in the center we might raise and then put planted chilies on top. We quite like exhibiting chilies in individual pots, just because it shows the fruit off better, it shows the plants off better. Um, so that's how we are at the moment. We'll save some videos leading up to it because I only started putting the plants in. We've always had an idea of what we're doing, but I only started putting the plants in uh, yesterday. So you'll, you'll see it progress.